Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some very nice conditions across the region this morning. Saw some chilly temperatures to start today. We'll see temperatures array rise up into the mid 50s. No chance of precipitation or lightning. We'll have mostly clear skies. High pressure in control. Looks like the next, next chance of precipitation won't come until uh, Friday evening into Saturday morning uh, with a dry week in store across the region. Uh, good conditions with general warm up as we move into the second half of the week. Looking at our Upper level winds this morning, freezing level at 7,800 feet. Winds out of the north around 10 to 15 knots and low levels becoming more northwesterly and increasing with height, seeing a peak wind at 75 knots out of the west-northwest at 25,000 feet this morning. Current surface analysis, high pressure in control. We have a cold front well off to our west of the Great Lakes, an area low pressure of the deep south. I'm going to see this area high pressure across our area for today. We'll have this cold front move through as a dry cold front tonight. That's going to give us some slightly breezy winds for Tuesday, and we'll see this area of low pressure uh, slowly propagate along the southeast coast and the Gulf states. So moving to Friday and Saturday, could be seeing this system uh, give us some rainfall across the region. Uh, but overall, looks like right now it should remain off the coast primarily, uh, with just a chance of showers. Let's take a look at our. Current satellite imagery across the region, just a little bit of cloud cover off the coast as well as some cirrus off to our south and to our west. But overall today we'll see plentiful sunshine, some really nice conditions across the region. And take a look at the GFS model for the next few days here. High pressure in control to today and tomorrow we'll see area high pressure build in the region uh, from the west as that cold front moves through overnight tonight. Uh, we'll see temperatures tomorrow in the upper 50s. We'll see those slightly breezy winds out of the northwest. Uh, for tomorrow afternoon. We move into our Wednesday, looking like very nice conditions across the region, high pressure and control. We had a chilly start to the day. Inland locations will see temperatures below freezing right along the coast here. We'll see temperatures in the mid 30s. We move into Wednesday afternoon, going to see temperatures in the upper 50s across the region. Uh, light winds in general, very nice conditions as I mentioned. We move into Thursday, uh, similar conditions across the region. High pressure moves off the coast, but overall still in control. And then for Friday, we'll see this area of low pressure possibly develop off the southeast coast, giving us uh, some more cloud cover across the region as well as a chance of showers late Friday. Uh, moving into Saturday, we'll see a cold front sweep through the region Saturday morning, giving us an additional chance of showers uh, for Friday night into Saturday. And then for uh, Sunday, looking like high pressure builds back into the region. A little bit chillier weather uh, as we'll see a cooler air mass move in the region for Sunday as it looks right now for the second half of the weekend. Let's take a look at our uh, risk chart for today, a high of 55 degrees today, a low tonight of 44. We'll see light winds in general today, uh, northwesterly this morning, becoming variable between three to seven knots for later this morning into the afternoon hours. And then we'll see a weak sea breeze come on shore for later this afternoon and the evening hours south to south-southeast around 48 knots. We'll see our winds pick up slightly with that front moving through uh, for Looks like around midnight, uh, northwest, 7 to 12 knots. We'll see those winds die back down slightly around 5 to 10 knots out of the northwest and then pick back up by tomorrow morning, 8 local, 7 to 12 knots, gust at 17 knots out of the northwest. Our terminal forecast, VFR conditions the next 24 hours. And looking at our risk chart, green conditions across the board. Very nice weather in store for the next 24 hours. And our tides are just slightly above normal at this time. Looking at Tuesday and Wednesday, Tuesday mostly sunny, partly cloudy and slightly breezy, high of 59 degrees. We have a yellow for our winds on Tuesday, seeing some northwesterly post-frontal uh, breezes across the region. Could see a gust around 22, uh, 23 knots, so can't rule out a gust of 25 knots for our Tuesday late morning into the early afternoon hours. Tuesday night, mostly clear to partly cloudy, a low of 35 degrees, and for Wednesday, Partly mostly cloudy and seasonable with light winds high of 58 degrees. So the next seven days looking at uh, good conditions uh, through the week. We'll see that warm up starting on Thursday into Friday. Temperatures in the mid 60s on Thursday, upper 60s on Friday. 25% chance of a shower late Friday. 60% chance of rainfall for uh, overnight Friday into Saturday morning as that cold front moves through. Uh, we'll see a high on Saturday, about 64 degrees. Some breezes in the afternoon of the northwest, uh, so it looks like a fairly nice day on Saturday, especially the move in the afternoon hours, rather than the breezy northwesterly winds. And Sunday looks like we'll go back to near normal, 
high around 55 degrees, mostly sunny skies, high pressure and control. Well, that's going to complete our 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. I hope everybody has a great day today. I'm back tomorrow morning at 15 and 10 a.m.